of where we're fishing at. This is called Parker Canyon. The ducks have no problem with this storm. <laughs> Arizona. Look, I have my little thing on here because I'm freezing and I have probably like five layers on at this point. Um, we're getting ready to go fishing and <laughs> crazy, but I wanted to show you, look, I hung my bag. Um, so I held, I put my bag there and I actually was able to drain and fill on the way to the lake, which was really cool, but kind of fumbly. So um, there's going to be a couple things I'm going to be doing this summer where I'm going to need to do this in the car. So I figured, why not give it a shot today? And that's what I did. So I don't know how much I drained out, but I do know that it was quite a bit. Um, so I think it's probably a good drain, and it was my first one for the day. So that's always a positive thing. Um, but I did have to, like, calculate. And it's weird because, like, putting... Okay, first I had to calculate how much I needed to bring an emergency supply. And then also I had to calculate like how to put my stuff sterilely on my lap while traveling. But thankfully Donnie drove, so I don't have to deal with that, of course. But then I was like trying to figure out how to stay sterile. 
why am I trying to do all this? So it was pretty interesting, but it is doable. So I'm glad that I at least gave it a shot because like I said, I'm going to do some stuff this summer where I'm going to be traveling and I need to be able to learn how to do things in the car um, and stay sterile. And then also how to manage it because like I put the drain bag on the floor, but I was a little concerned with how high my, my fill bag had to be to get into my body. Um, but it seemed to work out. So I just used a hanger and the garment or whatever. I always to was told it was like a garment hanging thing, but I don't know. And then, um, everything seemed to run smoothly. So I'm really glad about that. So it is storming outside. I will flip this around to show you. See? So the lake is like down there and I'll, oh, here's a better picture down there, but it's pretty windy and stormy, but I don't know. I figure it's better to come out into nature and have a go at this than to be at home doing nothing. So, and it is Christmas Eve, but if I don't talk to you, have a very Merry Christmas and um, a Happy New Year. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So we came all the way on the other side of the lake. Oh, look who came. He <laughs> found us. That's so funny. They're so cute. I think they're a couple. They just like to hang out together. Here they come. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> That's our stuff. Super chilly. but it's fine. Just look at these guys. I think they know me. I think they think I have treats for them. 